And they had to be very careful picking that name, Homeland Security. You couldn't say Fatherland because a lot of old Germans are going, that's a good one. <laughs> but Homeland Security, it sounds like Home Front Security, which was England during World War II. Old men with pitchforks and colostomy bags defending England. <laughs> There they were, I captured Rudolf Hess personally. I threw my colostomy bag, covered him in shite, and said, get out of that fucker, you fucker, get out! <laughs> there I did. And I also find out now that Winston Churchill, one of the greatest orators of all time, may have been so fucked up on cognac and champagne that he didn't do some of his great speeches. They were done by a man from the BBC who also did Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> We will fight them on the beaches, in the air, on the land. Eeyore and Tigger! <laughs> and he was fighting against Hitler, a man who recently a book declared was a homosexual, and I always thought this was a clue. <laughs> that and the leather and the dancing. <laughs> but we are now finding ourselves once again drawn to England during these troubled times. Tony Blair, a militant liberal, over here. George W. Bush, compassionate conservative. I don't know what that is. Sounds kind of like a Volvo with a gun rack. But <laughs> over here, Tony Blair, a man who must address the House of Commons, which is like Congress for the two drink minimum. Crazy place. <laughs> I believe my worthy opponents, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Shite, bullets, you bastard. Fuck you. Will someone remove Mrs. Thatcher from the chamber? <laughs> Where she goes. But it was Tony who said, this heinous incident has brought us to the edge of oblivion, but our civilization shall endure. And there's poor W going, shit, I can't even spell that. <laughs> Bang! Because you look at Bush and you realize it's Bush 2.0, okay? <laughs> it's a beta release. He came with certain bugs in the software, all right? He'll go, this country will not be taken hostile. Oops, delete, delete, hostage, okay. <laughs> And then you look at him and you realize he does have a short attention span. He'll be going, our economy is... Oh, look at the kitty. <laughs> but he kind of reminds me of the guy in college with a towel going, gotcha. But you just don't want him to drive. Oh, but you realize some men are born great, some achieve greatness, some get it as a graduation gift. That's okay. <laughs> Historically, you have... You must look at it from a historical perspective, though. He's George II, the boy king. A man we felt could only lose, but somehow won because of confused Hebrews. Yes! <laughs> it is that! And notice this, my friends. W doesn't speak while Cheney's drinking water. Check that shit out. <laughs> That's why, baby. When everything went down, they put W out there, but they protected Cheney. <laughs> it's like me and my shadow government. And remember that Cheney who had an angioplasty? Most people wait till it kind of heals. He was like, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> and there's Ashcroft in the back going, work the arms, you asshole, work the arms. <laughs> Folks, you have to remember, here's the drill. You have to remember, John Ashcroft is a man who lost to a dead man in Missouri. <laughs> Can't forget that. Choices in Missouri were John Ashcroft, dead man. <laughs> And people in Missouri went, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, John, the dead man scares me less than you do. <laughs> so, I know it. And here's the drill for me. You know, it's strange, but I know this. It doesn't scare me that W waved at Stevie Wonder. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Stevie's only been blind since birth. And there's W going, Stevie! Even Stevie Wonder's going, is that motherfucker waving at me? God damn! Does he think I'm looking for him? God damn! No. What scares me is that W almost died from a fucking pretzel. We have billions of dollars in national defense. They want billions more for national security to up the stakes. And he almost fucking goes down from snack food. <laughs> Secret Service are going, game's over, man! Gillian's down. Gillian's down. <laughs> Step away from the chip, sir! <laughs> you have to have people go, hydrate, you bastard, hydrate! 
His own dogs didn't give a shit. They were licking him for the salt. <laughs> what is it, boy? You need a dog that cares. A dog like Lassie who would go, woo, woo. Woo, woo. What's wrong, Lassie? President swallowed something and you did the Heimlich? Woo, woo. What else, girl? Woo, 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 woo. Mr. Cheney's meeting with the Enron people? An Enron employee, secretary of the Navy? No, no, no. What about the Harkin loan? No, no. Sorry, girl, we're gonna have to put you down. <laughs> oh, Kenny boy, the feds, the feds are coming. I went in on a Monday and my stocks were gone. Enron, run, run, Enron, run. Oh! Welcome, boys and girls, to Disney's new ride, Investment Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Your money checks in, it doesn't check out. <laughs> we have to know this, my friends. You know this. Sometimes you catch George unprepared. He says unusual things. Like the first day, they said, Mr. Bush, what are we going to do? He said, well, we're going to go after these folks and conduct a crusade. And everybody in the room went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ixne on the Ukraine, say. <laughs> All throughout the Middle East. Allah <laughs> Baghdad! Shalom the women and children and the number zero they're coming and you can't bomb the afghanis back to the stone age because they'll go upgrade fuck <laughs> now today's bombing raid has enlarged the hole from yesterday's bombing raid we have moved rubble from here to here Groat in the upper right hand corner possible member of the taliban or concubine we are not sure we did fire the hundred million dollar cruise missile up its ass and were successful operation extreme redundancy is carrying on now, then we started to drop bombs. Food. Food bombs. And here's the fun part. Some of the bombs were little yellow bombs, and the food packages were little yellow packages. So now you're playing Survivor the real game. It's like, okay, Bob, I was here yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go for this one today. And what was in those packages? Pop-tarts, peanut butter, and all you need is a honey-baked ham, and you got a redneck Christmas. Drop the honey baked time on the Muslim apartment? Shh, idiot. Nah. Why are we dropping Pop Tarts and peanut butter on Afghanistan? Number one, tastes a shitload better than dirt. Yes. <laughs> Number two, and more importantly, very difficult to have a call to jihad with a mouthful of peanut butter. <laughs> Secondly, or thirdly, for those keeping track. <laughs> 